Okay, welcome to my uh, malware analysis lab setup. We're setting up iSIM, sorry, uh, iNet SIM. So first thing I did was I googled Ubuntu. I am going to download the desktop version. I'm using Ubuntu 17.04. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And there it goes. Alright, so once it's downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and create a new VM. Ubuntu 17.04. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Uh, at least for me, I'm going to create a user. Got to give it a password. A uh, common issue that I had was the user has to be all lowercase. I'm going to be putting it the rest of my malware analysis material. INET SIM. I'm going to change the hard, hard drive. I'm keeping the same memory and processor. I'm going to go ahead and bump up. And I'm going to let that guy go ahead and get installed. It may take a few moments for it to be installed. Just be patient. I'm literally just going to sit back and let it do its thing, and I will come back when it's done. While it's going, it's just going to be setting up its own information. I'm not providing any input. I'm just sitting back and letting it install. Okay, so it installed. I'm going to go ahead and log in. It should resize. All right, there it goes. So first thing I want to do is I want to get my inet sim set. Up. So I want to go to a terminal, and I need to modify my source list. Don't worry, I'll be making sure to post the commands that I'm typing in the comments. sudo I'm looking at my APT source, source list. I'm adding in a binary for INET SIM. I'm going to exit. Yes. All right. So next. I'm going to do sudo wget hyphen zero hyphen location for my signing key. I'm going to add my key. What I have noticed is sometimes is it sometimes actually takes a minute for it to process and send. So if you actually uh, get a resolving INET SIM, then just give it a minute and try again. Alright, I'm going to try it one more time. I restarted it just because it's been having... I'm going to go ahead and run sudo git. I will provide my password. Okay. Okay, now that it's all installed and set up, I'm going to go to my terminal. First thing that I want to do is sudo. Again, don't worry, I'll post the commands that I'm typing in, in the comments. Password. I want to make sure that my binary is there.
I'm going to repaste it just in case. Stamina modify? Yes. Source list? Yes. Next, I'm going to do a W get. Why are we getting a 404 error? Okay, now that it is installed and I'm at full screen, I'm going to go ahead and get to my terminal. We need to modify our source list. So, sudo nano source list. Again, I'll be posting these commands in uh, the comments just so that you have them. Go ahead and save it. Yes. Sudo app get update. I want to make sure everything is good. It's pulled out the information I needed for my inet. It's saying my inet sim Debian binary release is not signed. That's okay. One thing that I do need to grab is I need to set up and save a install signature key. It connects to the website, though it does not always like being able to pull it down. I got a 404 error. That's okay. All right. I'm going to do my update again. I'm also going to do an upgrade. Sure. Just that way I can make sure everything is up to graded. It's going to take three minutes to finish the upgrade, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause while it records, or while it updates. Okay, update, upgrade ran. Not what I wanted to do. Now that update and upgrade ran, I'm going to go ahead and do a sudo app get install inet sim. Certain packages weren't verified, and that's okay. It's going to go ahead and install and set up everything. I want to do an update and an upgrade again. Just to make sure INET SIM is all good to go. Alright, so I'm going to clear my screen, and we need to do two more things. We need to do some basic configuration. I'm going to do this through my file browser. Other location. Computer. ETC. INET SIM. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I want to see what my network settings are. So my IP address is 1.141. What I want to do is I want to 
make sure that I have a service bind address and it is 192.168.1.1 143. I want to set that. And I want to go ahead and I want to scroll down to my default DNS. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Save as. I'm going to save it to my desktop. I don't have permission to save it in this folder, so I can't save it in that folder. Close out all of that. Alright, so this is but one step that most people forget. We cannot... Oh, I don't have a floppy. It's not going to let us copy it there. Copy, won't let us paste, won't let us move to, you know what, I won't live, did not actually try move to, I net sim replace I get permission denied. That's what I figured. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna change my directory to desktop. I wanna CP INET sim INET sim dot com I want to send it to etc i net sim i net sim dot com oh but we have to have the appropriate permissions sudo alright so let's double check let's see if it did it correctly What we're looking for is to see if the IP address that we set are still there. Yes, they are. All right, so that part is done. That's the hard part. sudo inetsim. sudo inetsim will turn on inetsim. You'll see that everything is running. I get a simulation is running. I'm going to hop over to my Windows 7 machine. I'm going to put that in my malware analysis. I'm going to pop over to my Windows 7 machine. Turn that guy back on. Because what I need to do is I need to set... Let's just go to my desktop. I need to set the DNS for this guy to my Ubuntu machine. 143. And you know what? I'm going to disable it, re enable it, just to force mm -hmm. it. Alright, so, first thing is. You'll notice that if you get this, if you go to any page and you get INET SIM, the fake server is running, that's what you want. Because everything is being rerouted to our fake DNS. That's why I can go to everything is being redirected to INET SIM. So that will simulate the DNS hookups to a website. If I go to ping google.com, it will resolve back to my fake DNS site. Ping ping.com. 
Same thing, it will resolve to that fake DNS site. If the web portion does not work, don't sweat it. I've done this about a dozen times this week, and the web portal does not always work. Lastly, let's do some ZenMap scanning. Let's go ahead and do a intense scan to google.com. You're going to notice it's going to enumerate google.com and it will translate it to our fake DNS site. So you'll actually discover all of the ports that our INET sim is running. That's how we can test to see if the fake DNS is working. Again, when we start doing some of our labs, we want to redirect DNS to an internal DNS. That way it doesn't really get forwarded out to the internet. That's the purpose of setting up INET SIM. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Thank you.